Can you sleep too much? Depression, anxiety, maybe poor concentration, heart disease, or weight gain. Do you feel any of these? Maybe you need to look at your sleep schedule. Are you having sufficient sleep of six to nine hours? If not, then you have to get sleep within that time span, since not getting enough sleep could lead to a shorter life. But do you also know that getting more than the optimal sleep span could skyrocket your chance of mortality? You see, the relationship between sleep and mortality risk is not linear. This indicates that getting more and more sleep does not mean your risk is decreasing. Otherwise, you could sleep for 23 hours a day and practically be immortal. Instead, there is an upward spike in mortality risk if the average sleep quantity exceeds nine hours. If you sleep more than nine hours per day, you are more likely to die prematurely than if you sleep fewer than six hours per day. So what exactly is going on here? Are we expected to aim for exactly eight hours of sleep every day in order to live a long and healthy life? Consider a statue in the park. Every day, some children come by to play with a the statue. They climb on it, throw balls at it, and by the end of the day, it is somewhat damaged. Nothing major, just a few scrapes and bruises. However, they occasionally play too hard and produce a crack. However, at the end of each day, after the children have finished playing, an adult comes around and attempts to repair the statue. This fixer may only have eight hours to do his work. Other times, he is interrupted by a siren, which alerts him to cease working, and he is unable to complete his task. Now, you are the statue in that park, and the kids that come to play every day are actual physical and psychological stressors that you experience on a regular basis. The adult that comes around to fix the statue, that's sleep. And the siren that interrupts the fixer from completing his job is an alarm clock or other factors that could wake you up. Sleep is the most powerful rejuvenation tool you have for both your body and mind. However, it should be mentioned that the fixer cannot accomplish his work perfectly. Every day, he leaves some scratches behind. We call that aging. Despite of having adequate sleep every day, you'll still face death no matter what. However, if you let the fixer do his job to the best of his ability, that will happen at a later time. But if you don't let him repair the statue properly every day, cracks will start to form. Because the regeneration was not done properly, the statue is more likely to collapse sooner. That is why it is advisable to sleep without an alarm clock so that you can fully rest and reap the benefits of having a sufficient sleep. You don't want your fixer to halt working just because of an alarm clock, do you? Instead, you want him to work within the sleep span so he can do his job properly. You may be confused at this point. If all of this is true, shouldn't we be sleeping as much as possible? But why do studies reveal that sleeping for more than nine hours is associated with an early death? The reason is simple, illness. While other statues receive minor knocks and scratches, a select few statues are battered with a hammer, repeatedly. That's how disease works. That implies the fixer has a lot more work to perform and will have to work longer hours. That is, you will need to sleep for longer than usual. Evidence suggests that illness triggers a vigorous immunological response, resulting in greater sleep. It's only that some conditions, like cancer, are too powerful for even the most effective sleep regeneration to fight, no matter how much sleep is gained. The illusion generated 
is that sleeping too much leads to an early death. However, correlation does not imply causation. In actuality, despite the good sleep duration, the sickness was simply too much and the fixer couldn't keep up. Having said that, you should get as much sleep as you need to feel refreshed. So far, no biological mechanism has been uncovered that would render sleep hazardous in any way. And there is no ideal amount of sleep for everyone. Sleep is very individualistic. However, most people appear to benefit from 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night. However, sleeping for more than 9 hours a day may be an indication that something is wrong. As previously stated, certain ailments can cause an increase in sleep. But before you worry, keep in mind that children and teens require more sleep than adults. For best recovery and growth, an average adolescent should need 9.5 hours of sleep every night. As a result, it is natural for them to sleep more. When someone is physically active, they also require more rest. During the competition season, elite athletes, for example, receive 10 to 12 hours of sleep. This is due to the fact that they are physically stressed on a regular basis and require more time to regenerate. So, if you exercise frequently, sleeping more is reasonable. The issue arises when you consistently sleep for more than 9 hours and yet feel sleepy and sluggish during the day. That is generally a sign that something is incorrect. You should see a doctor and attempt to figure out what's causing it. But don't strive to sleep less. The sickest people should sleep longer in order to fight sickness with the restorative advantages that sleep provides. However, if you sleep a lot, it signifies your body requires it to restore itself. So don't neglect your sleep. It's the most effective regeneration tool you have. So far, you have learned the importance of getting adequate sleep, which means that you must sleep within 7 to 9 hours if you were a completely normal individual. So, if you're watching this late at night, I highly suggest that you subscribe to this channel first and sleep right now. That way, you'll be able to watch our future videos without any sickness. I hope you've learned something again today. As always, thanks for watching and always have a good night's sleep. Bye!